Those vegan guys. I thank you. It's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests. Well, hello all. Um, I'm in work. As you are very aware now, this is a lunchtime taste test. And I'm very excited uh, to have picked this up yesterday at Tesco's Yellow Stickered. Um, as many of you know uh, that have seen my lunchtime taste tests over the last few months, I've been quite impressed with a lot from the Wicked range at Tesco. And as you can clearly see, this is the Gunpowder Potato Chana Masala, Chickpea Chana Masala, Gunpowder Spiced Potatoes, Cabbage and Fragrant Saffron Rice. It's about four minutes in an 800 watt microwave. So I'm gonna go and give this a quick blast and uh, I will let you know what I think. Well, this looks and smells incredible. It's fresh out of the microwave. I've given it the allotted cool down time. The fragrance really is lovely. Uh, I thought I'd just quickly show you the back of the box as well, just so you can have a quick look at what's going on. Uh, it's a pretty good breakdown. Um, yeah, cooked rice, potato and chickpeas and a masala sauce topped with cabbage, fried onion and coriander. So, without further ado, let's tuck in because I am pretty ravenous. Give it a little mix up. I'm going to try a potato first. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Try some of the rice and the chickpea. Mmm. Okay. I do apologise. It's very nice. But the slightly weird thing is, it doesn't taste quite as flavoursome as it smells when it comes fresh out of the, uh, you know, from being cooked. Um, it's not quite the same, but it's a little bit like when you smell a fruit tea and it's really inviting and then you drink it and it doesn't taste the same as it smells, at least for me anyway. Um, so that's ever so slightly disappointing, but it's still pretty good. Standard price, uh, £3.50 I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I got it, £2.38, yellow sticker. Happy to pay that, to be honest. And it's substantial, there's a decent amount here. Uh, so for a lunch in four minutes, uh, it's not the nicest day uh, out there today. Definitely feel the uh, autumnal vibes coming in. But yeah, it's good. What score would I give it? I'm just having a little bit more because I don't want to. I don't want to judge it prematurely. Do you know what I mean? I do that occasionally, and then afterwards I'm like, maybe I should have given it another point. Okay, like most of what of the, most of the stuff that I've tried in the Wicked range, it scores highly on uh, value, quantity, um, and the taste is pretty good as well. It's pretty good, so I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a solid seven and a half out of ten. I think that's fair. There is tastier stuff that I've tried in the Wicked range. But this is very, very good. So I would recommend it. If you get a chance, give it a try from Tesco's. I'm going to finish the rest of this now. And then in about 10 minutes, um, I've got to uh, get myself into a meeting. So thank you, as always, for uh, checking out uh, the, the channel, checking out this video. Um, always massively appreciated. Uh, if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. That's appreciated as well. Um, and take care of yourselves. I will see you very soon. Well, hello, my loves. It's the first night of a brand new meals vlog, and Jason in Sainsbury's before picked up this. You know, we like a yellow sticker, so it should have been five pound, and it was one ninety nine. This white rabbit sourdough smoking vegan pizza. We don't usually go for gluten free stuff but when you can try something for like you know less than half its price mm -hmm. we're going to do that so I've put some uh, baby portobello mushrooms on my half 
uh, and some of that Greek style cheese we had the other night on our French bread pizzas and on Jason some of our homegrown cherry tomatoes and lots of the Greek cheese mm. and pizza the action seasoning from Ashley cheers Ashley first time we're trying it on this here pizza Jason would you care Course. The <laughs> shitting of the salad. This is uh, just classic salad, spinach, mixed leaves, red onion, and every tomato in there is from our greenhouse. So it hasn't been all war <laughs> down at the allotment. We've lost all our outdoor tomatoes, but all our greenhouse ones seem to be going really, really well. So, oh, if you could grab me a handful too, Jess, and that would be uh, muchly appreciated. Absolutely. That's the least I can do. Looking forward to this. Yeah, we've not had a, a classic pizza and salad for uh, well over a week, I don't think. But we like this, don't we? We like to have a pizza and a and a load of salad. And then what I do, so they don't slip back into the bowl, is I just do that, which is rather handy as well. <laughs> uh, would you like to have a try of the pizza? Uh, yeah, I will do. Or are you a bit scared? No, I'm not Mind scared. you, we've added Greek cheese to it, so but this is more about the base. Like, is it an acceptable base because it's gluten free? I'm gonna go in here. Yes, just be careful, love. You got quite a big bit of base there, so it's like I got a crumb off the breadboard. Now we're all right with it. I was like, man, it doesn't necessarily taste gluten free. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. I mean. It's a small pizza though, isn't it, Jay? It's small and you think it's at full price, it's five pounds and yeah. you get the Sainsbury's own one for three pounds fifty. Yeah, but that's spicy, isn't it? This is like char-grilled vegetables. Yeah, and... but it is nice. It is nice, but it has been significantly jazzed up. Yeah. Just being fair. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, so pizza, so a slice of bread, because when whenever we have salad, I have to have a salad butty. And now we're going to shove this in us faces and watch an episode of Friends. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's um, Wednesday evening, and Jay's only got one more day in work, thankfully, before he's off. Um, I'm going to take you through this one tonight because uh, normally I do make my own curry pastes, and I have done so in this case. So the curry paste that I used here was uh, about seven baby plum tomatoes, uh, six cloves of garlic, a good two inch knuckle of ginger if not a little bit more um bit of tomato puree a bit of water that was the paste in the pan i started with uh sweet potato then i chopped in some kale uh some onions some courgette some cashew nuts some sultanas um added my curry paste and then blitzed a carton of chopped tomatoes and also added some soya yogurt to the sauce and a pinch of psycho juice oh and about seven chilies how exactly do you pinch juice a pinch of juice yeah i'm just being pedantic that's the one <laughs> cheers for that love um so yeah it's a rather random curry did i say sultanas there are sultanas in there as well oh and white cabbage also <sighs> shredded uh, some brown rice with chopped spring onion and lime juice and a little bit of greenage with a bit of lemon juice the last of the soya yogurt that I didn't use in the curry with a bit of mint sauce to just kind of drizzle over the top because that psycho juice got some kick mama and uh, nan bread we bought a pack of two a couple of weeks ago this one's been in freezer now it's going in us gobs um, so yeah curry and of course there's enough left in the pan for dinner another night this week where we'll usually have it with um uh oven uh air fried oven chips and bread and butter am i right bromley you are not wrong <laughs> uh, would you like a taste yeah it's not like it's a taste test but it's a it's i suppose it is in a way isn't it yeah I've never done kale in a curry before, and because we've got quite a bit, because Jack gave us more, mm -hmm. bless him. Mmm, really good. Yeah, flavoursome. Yeah, and also, I wouldn't just about 
the right amount of spice level. Nice. Good, well, I'm going to drizzle some uh, mint yogurt anyway, because otherwise it'll go to waste. It'd be rude not to. Right, in as fast as it goes. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's a Thursday. It's a normal Thursday. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah! <laughs> Jay's finished work now. Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Always uh, good. Yeah, yeah, that always makes us both very happy. Called at Tesco. Ran down to the allotment tonight. Uh, got a couple of tomatoes. That's one of our heritage tomatoes right there. I got I've cut it up. Shall we taste it, Jason? It tastes like a heritage tomato, I imagine. How do you... Well, I'm going to I'm gonna taste it while I'm... Well, I'm on, so that folk know. That's the bit I'm having. Oh, that's actually very nice. Mmm. So, we've got a very simple salad. Uh, couscous made with garlic, tomato puree, and lazy garlic. And uh, got these yellow stickered in Tesco. Loads of them, three packets. So we've got mayo, the... the the plant-based nuggets. We've got plain mayo, um, uh, vegan A's, and a Dijon mustard. And we've got bacon A's and scotch bonnet sauce for dippage. And a chia batter each, which were also yellow stickered. It's a yellow sticker bonanza! Um, so there you go, my darlings. There's dinner on Thursday night. Bye, loves! Hello, my loves. It's Friday night. And we've had a we've had quite a day of it today. I've been to the allotment and you might have seen my little short on the exercise bike and I've got I'm back to bleached hair. Now show me. Show you. Hang on, let me just get it inside. Excellent. There we go, yes. If you're gonna do it, you do it proper. Uh, so I might go blue again. Okay. At some point, I've still got some of my washed up mermaid left. Um, you may have seen a couple of nights ago we had a curry. Whenever I make a curry, I always do enough for two nights. The first night we have with rice and nan, as you saw. And tonight we're having with oven chips and one little tomato from the allotment that was maturing on a greenhouse shelf. And the last two ciabatta. Uh, remember we had ciabatta last night it was yellow yellow stickered in Tesco last two of them uh, so yes lovely leftover curry I have to show my lovely husband hello hello there <laughs> hello yeah it's been a very um, very productive afternoon lots done why don't you talk just very briefly about your fundraiser and I'll put the link in the first comment oh well yeah okay well um, I've worked full transparency I've worked for Mind for five years uh, Mind the mental health charity in the UK for anyone who doesn't know cut a long story short I've never fundraised for them um, but I'm fundraising for Mind I'm fundraising for mental health I'm doing 100 miles this September after 18 months of festering <laughs> so yeah. have I inspired you by getting active myself yes good yes somewhat make sure you say that then some might say that Paul <laughs> might say that <laughs> Uh, so, so, oh yeah, so I'll put the link down there. If you fancy sponsoring Jason to do 100 miles throughout September. Uh, there you go. Leftover curry, chips and matter. Eee, bye loves. Hello my loves, it's Saturday night and uh, it's mukbang night. Look, we just took that thumbnail just a minute ago. That's us now, that's what we look like right now. <laughs> and there's our fork chatting. Um, we're having enchiladas and Mexican salad. Uh, and I've done a recipe video for it while I was cooking it. Oh, do you know, I'm a clever boy, aren't I? <laughs> so, um, if that recipe vlog is up now, I'll link it up there now. Uh, but yeah, enchiladas and Mexican salad. Delicious. Balloves! Well, if it isn't Sunday evening, good evening to you, my bloody lovelies. How are you? I get this. What a collection. This is commonly what we'd call a plate. We got that off Ryan, didn't we? The Irish folk call it a plate. P-L-A-I-T? Yeah, just plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, yeah. Used, we used to call it a buffet-style plate. Mm -hmm. uh, so, basically, if you watched the allotment vlog that we uploaded yesterday, um, which is, as I do this now, is just finishing off editing there. Jason's been chugging at it. For oh, she's been chugging. Eh? The PC's chugging. Yeah. Now. 
Uh, so well, if you saw the allotment vlog, you will know that we had a lovely birthday picnic because it was uh, Mum Brom's birthday today, this very day, Sunday. So the leftovers are kind of the sausage rolls and the higgity pies and a couple of sandwiches uh, and uh, the crisps. That's uh, my pickle. This yellow one is the sweet one and this one is the sour and hot one. Uh, the sandwiches are that one's ham, mayo and onion and that one's beef, mustard and onion uh, both the wicked um, you know meats if you like and then I picked this up today as we were coming past um, Tesco on our way home from the allotment 77p I thought it'd be rude now too so I got them did we the eagle eyed viewers see the slop on the packaging Cedric the slop <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? Can you not see it? What's this here? Oh, it was, it, it's, that's me. That's my fault. Slop, yeah. Uh, <laughs> would you like to... We've tried everything else on this plate. Would you like to try one of them? Have we not had these kebabs before? Never. These wicked ones? No, I'm going to try a piece now. Oh, okay. Here's mine, Luke. Yeah, interesting. Where are you pointing the camera? Mmm. That's quite meaty. Isn't it? Yeah. That's quite nice, that. It's a lot firmer than I was expecting. Um, I, I'm uh, liking that. Mmm. And me. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Right, we're going to shove this in us faces. The last night of our meals vlog is imminent. And we'll see you then. Bye, loves. Hello my loves, it's Monday, so a tiny bit of a boo, because Jay's been back at work today. Uh, we've got the brake pads fixed, fixed on the car today. Yes. Thankfully. So thank you to those who helped us out with that. Indeed, uh, and that includes all our super chatters and mum and dad brom. Yes. Um, here you see a homemade noodle dish. So these are the medium uh, straight to wok noodles from Sainsbury's. They've always been marked vegan. You get two portion packets in a packet and a packet is a pound. So, you know, two portions for a pound. Um, I got those, uh, see that there? It's like fake chicken from Tesco's and it was 44p because it was yellow stickered. So I bought it because I'm not daft. And I fried it up in the pan with some white cabbage and some green beans and some edamame and some one of our tomatoes. And then I made a soup with uh, half an umami plant-based stock cube, some tomato puree, lots of chili, seaweed, Chinese five spice, uh, and so on. And here we are, uh, a homemade noodle dish. Would you like to have a taste of the soup? Mr. I was going to say, I... I, I, I... Yeah, I'd like to have a taste of the soup, to be honest. So it's a spicy uh, chicken and tomato style soup. <clears throat> yeah. Oh no, that's lovely. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, really nice. Yep. And again, just a, for us, just a nice amount of spice, not overpowering. Yeah, and I've done enough for Jason to take a portion to work tomorrow as well for lunch. Um, so that's a nice one to end on. It's a reasonably healthy a uh, noodle dish with a homemade soup and just all bits you know all bits and things bits and things <laughs> it looks delightful it smells delightful i can't wait to tuck in to be honest well let's get friends on and get tucked in <laughs> monday night so we'll see you on the next meals vlog till then be excellent to yourselves and each other my loves bye loves